we generally like to think that those seeds are no longer viable. And this is correct. Hello plant people, how are you guys doing today? If you're new around here, my name is Ashley and I'm a soul scientist. On this channel, I like to take that science and apply it to all things plants. And in today's video, we're talking about whether or not you should soak your seeds in water and exactly why some seeds float and whether or not that may mean that that seed is considered inviolable. So the method for soaking seeds can actually use, be used for dicots as well as monocots. And there is actually some science as to why you may or may not want to do this. Both monocots and dicots have embryos and endosperms. So the embryo is the baby and the endosperm is the cotyledon or the food reserve for that embryo. Once the endosperm shrinks away, whether that be due to lack of moisture or lack of gas exchange or even just because of age it's had to feed that embryo and keep it alive for too long so there's no endosperm left or in proper fertilization during the summer months before that seed was harvested all these things can result in a less dense endosperm the density of the endosperm is what determines whether or not that seed is going to float or if that seed is going to sink. Lack of an endosperm or a deteriorating endosperm means there's less density and therefore because we have that outer shell or that seed coating on the outside, which is generally pretty hard, we have air pockets. Once we get those air pockets within the endosperm, for whatever reason it may have been there, we end up with floating seeds. Because these seeds float, and because the lack of endosperm generally means that the embryo may not be viable because it has ceased to exist, because it hasn't been fed for a certain amount of time, we generally like to think that those seeds are no longer viable. And this is correct. That is 100% correct. Generally, if a seed is floating, it could mean that the seed is no longer viable. However, there are seeds that have seed coatings to them that will allow for that seed to float regardless of what the endosperm inside looks like. A really great example of this is something like marigold or carrot seeds or even milkweed seeds, anything with that uh, very feathery outside. Because of that feathery outside, it's able to capture micro bubbles underneath the surface and therefore it's going to float regardless of whether or not it is viable. So this doesn't pertain to all seeds, but for some it definitely does. I think the best way to know if it applies to your seed or not is actually the shape of the seed and the outside coating. Is it a, a very feathery outside coating or is it like a dense seed coating? This is going to be your best indicator. The other thing you want to check is make sure that there's no air bubbles caught underneath the seed regardless. Best way to do that is actually just to give it a plop with your finger after it's been sitting in the water for a little bit of time. If you plop it and the bubbles move, it allows the seed, the seed to fall down. It is still viable. So what exactly happens when we decide to soak our seeds? Well, the outside of our seed or the anatomy of our seed includes two holes, well, two hole-ish looking things. The first one being the helum. And the helum is usually very visually uh, seeable regardless of the seed that it's on. And this is actually just the scar of where that seed attached to the flower originally or to that plant originally. The helum actually isn't connected to the inside of the seed at all. It's literally just a surface scar and it goes nowhere. But next to the helum, there's a very tiny hole. And that hole sometimes cannot be seen with the bare eye. And that is the microfile. The microfile is a tiny little hole that acts kind of like an umbilical cord to the outside. The microfile actually connects to the embryo and it allows for not only gas exchange, but water to the embryo to ensure its survival and its longevity for the months or the years to come. If that microfile is at all blocked or harmed during storage, it generally will mean that the embryo inside is no longer viable. What seed soaking does is it allows the penetration of the water through that hole into the embryo and it actually causes a swelling effect, which is a good thing. It means that everything's up and running. But if we soak our seeds for too long, because that hole is also responsible for gas exchange, we may end up killing our seed because we haven't allowed for oxygen to be able to penetrate. Long story short, 
is that soaking seeds is okay and you can do it for a few hours all the way up to 24 hours with no issues. Any longer that, than that, you may run into problems. It also should be noted that typically when we soak seeds, we have higher rates of germination and this is because we have ensured that the moisture has actually penetrated the seed and we're not fully relying on soil moisture in order to start the germination process. I personally do soak my seeds or some of my seeds, um, especially the ones with the harder outer coating on it. I also tend to soak my seeds that are over a year old, so ones that I haven't freshly purchased from the store, mostly because I'm not sure how dehydrated that endosperm may or may not be, and I just want to give it a little bit of a jump start. But for things like carrots or marigolds, I tend to not soak the seeds, mostly because they are nearly impossible to deal with once they are wet. So use some logic and common sense to this whole process. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Um, I use it. You don't have to use it if you don't want to. At the end of the day, I do find I get slightly higher germination rates typically, but I think it's important also to know that just because a seed is floating may not necessarily mean it's inviable. So I would still actually plant my seeds that float because there's no reason not to. It's not like one or two seeds is going to make or break the spacing in your whole seed starting setup. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was nice, short, sweet. If you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you soak your seeds or not. I would love to know if you do. If you do, which ones do you do it with? I will talk to you guys next time. Bye. Three, go.